Hey yo what's up, are you tired of getting hit out of nowhere, and can't do anything about it? Why are you bullying? Are these sweaty sonic wannabes too fast for you? Well in this video I'm gonna help you be more aware, of when you are in certain death, or when you have a chance to escape it. But make sure to subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be a pro runner like me, else I'll hunt you in your dreams. This is especially effective for and Grace. But I recommend to get this much space away from the player, so that they won't hit you, even if they use sword. What? Moving will also increase the chances of them missing, even if they are close. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Probably the easiest way to counter electric claw is to stay up in the sky, so that you don't get hit by the sea move. It's also the best way to annoy them. However sky camping could also be a bad thing if the players know how to time when you land. If you don't know, after jumping 10 times without touching the ground, you wouldn't be able to jump again, until you touch the ground, so count your jumps. If you're trying to sky camp and saw you out, when you are about to reach 10, you can delay this by dashing 2 times, then jump again. If you don't like air camping, then there is a more advanced, and flashy way to counter electric claw. And that is to time your observation hacky slash ken. If you don't know, there are skills that can break observation hacky, which means that, if those skills hit you, when your observation is active then you won't be able to activate it again for a couple seconds, which is enough for the enemy to one shot you out of existence. Electric Claw C move, is one of those ken breakers and it's one of the annoying ones at that. To avoid getting comboed by electric claw users, you should always keep your observation turn off and turn it on as soon as they hit you with the C move. That way you could avoid the follow up move which is usually electric claw Z. The only exception to this counter are Tushita and Yoru users, which both have follow up moves that can also break observation. But the next one might help you against these players. I don't know what I'm doing! This one is quite hard to master. Basically you have to predict when the enemy is about to attack you, and in that split second time frame hold a skill that has a dash move, so that when the skill hit you will automatically execute the move that you are holding. This will help you avoid getting comboed by Tushita and your users, and have the opportunity to play a new no reverse card and combo them instead. <laughs> If you don't want the technical stuff, and don't mind running, then door is the way to basically avoid anything that has to do with you dying. It has two dashes, one invincible move, and one move that literally removes you out of the battle. It's the ultimate running vessel. And yes, I've used it a lot. Smash like and sub by.